met up in, in Sweden to record the drums, all of us, so uh, we all want to be a part of it. And it's, it's always fun to see Adam uh, nailing uh, a song in one take. And it's fun to, to have ideas for like what fills he could do where and stuff. So uh, that's the foundation of recording an album is the drums. So we went to Gothenburg to record the drums in Top Floor Studios with uh, Jacob Herman. We were quite lucky because that was just before Denmark closed down totally. So that was the social moment, you could say, for the album. After that, it was just producing by the computer, which I guess is already a pretty isolated experience. Recording with Adam was fantastic. What an amazing drummer he is. His style of playing is unique, his setup is unique. It's very fun to work with an excellent drummer, like going through every song from beginning to end, no punch-ins, just full takes. And then just being able to like relearn parts and you know blueprint the song and then come in here and talk it through and go back in and remember all the changes. It's really impressive. Drummer. Yeah, changes in the studio, like, hey, maybe try this, try that, try playing it on the other crash, or this rhythm instead, or this way, this fill, and so on. So it's kind of tricky because we do full takes for a song, and there's always some notes on different parts, so maybe three or four things for, that I have to remember then to change. And it just sometimes takes a little bit more time to get it into, so it feels natural to play, but I just make mental notes of, of it. Yeah, I don't know, just take it as I go throughout the song. Pretty much. I love it. Like, <laughs> find one place where you really make that audible. Okay. Yeah, okay. It doesn't, it doesn't go for the kind of playing you think when you just hear the songs. Sometimes, and sometimes he goes right for the, not the easy things, but the, the, the things that really helps the song. And so he's, he's very good at going back and forth between being you know, laid back and driving the song and then stepping out, being not a solo player, but more of a standout player in certain parts and then going back and continuing to drive the song. He has a very inspiring way of composing drum parts because they are almost always in 4-4, in four four, so they sound straight, but there are all these intricacies happening, like on cymbals, stacks, and just around the kit, making them sound detailed while at the same time just being a like a simple 4-4 beat. So that's a really cool place to, to be in terms of adding stuff on top. Just having that initial inspiration from Adam. There's a letter that seems to be He's so curious somehow on the drums and come up with these crazy ideas, especially the 24 light years, which was a drum groove that he worked on. He sent the WAV file on our server. Once I heard it the first time, I was just like, this is, this is good. The same e evening when I came home, I just tried out different things, added some synth to it, and then it just grew from there into 24 light years as we know it.
Yeah. Man, so good. Yeah. All through the day. <laughs> All the way through the day. I mean, you were focused and everything. Great, great, Thank you. great work. So, yeah, it's a pleasure recording here. It's nice. He has so many qualities. He's, he's super even in his playing. He's playful in his way of playing. His energy is constantly on top. Instead of doing... Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm thinking of... Uh, but on the other hand, this is some surprising element. I try one more thing with this, with this film. I just switch the place of the splash and the stack. I can do it better though. Yeah, give me some... Uh, oh, yeah! Jacob has a tons of different snares uh, here. We just tried a few different ones. He had this snare that has so much of everything, pretty much. Clarity punch, a nice ring to it, good attitude in the snare. The magic snare. <laughs> he brought one of his snares and I have like 30 snares here. The one we ended up with was just Everyone fell for it. We tuned it a little bit different for, for different songs. I went in and changed the tuning a bit, but like it was the perfect glue between the songs, how they are, and Adam's playing. I mean, it's, sure, it's a great snare, but he made it sound so good. It takes so much space in the drum sound, but it, I mean, it sounds fantastic. Adam made it sound really, really great. It was a good match. He and that snare was a really, Really tight match. Please. Yeah. How to record the final thing for this album, and we will be the floor tom coming up now. Go for it. Oh, that, was, that was your last. That was the last one. Holy crap! Oh. <laughs>